Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's quick video, I'm gonna show you how to get the most FPS out of the new Borderlands 3 game. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe down below and thank you for watching. Well, as you could see right here, I am rocking pretty old hardware by today's standards. Uh, over five years old now, but it's still quite respectful out there and uh, performs quite well still in a lot of the modern games. It consists of GTX 970 and an old platform of i5 4690K overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, along with 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM running at 1866 megahertz. So, I'm sure by now you're well aware that this game is really not the most visually impressive game. And, uh, that's why you could easily run this game on the lowest settings to get the most possible uh, FPS and it'll still look fairly decent really not a big difference between lowest and uh, higher ultra settings so let's begin here when you go to visuals as you could see I am on full screen and I'm running at 1920 by 1080 p now at this point in 2019 I really wouldn't go any less than that otherwise you're really going backwards and uh, chances are you know if if your graphics card support this uh, this game and the latest drivers on Nvidia it's uh, fairly reasonable and it should be able to run this game on 1080p with no problems next as you could see I have the V-Sync off to unlock the frame rates and the frame rate limit is unlimited over here when you go to the right here we are and again for the older cards I do recommend using DirectX 11 uh, it's just more compatible with the older hardware and it runs a lot smoother even though your graphics card does say it supports um, DirectX 12 uh, in most cases because it's an older card it doesn't really utilize it uh, as well as the newer cards and it actually cuts down on the performance so you definitely want to use DirectX 11 Next here, uh, I am using the very lowest preset, as you can see, very low, and then you go down the line here, and everything is turned to the lowest possible settings, which at this point, you could only go up from here, as you can see, all the arrows are to the right. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's what you want to do. And anyways, you, you're going to play online, you want to play competitive, you want to get the high FPS, and the game looks still pretty good, as you could see here. Visually, it looks good. There's no issues at all. And, you know, look at the FPS I'm getting. I'm getting way over 100 FPS on average. That's where you want to be. Now, again, you might have a older hardware or less powerful hardware than mine. Or even maybe slightly better. But uh, this is the settings I would recommend for anybody. Because when you do originally start this game for the first time the the game usually picks its own settings for you like more the recommended ones but the, you definitely should go back and uh, kind of tweak them out and change them uh, you know for better performance uh, yeah that's pretty much it I hope this video was helpful uh, leave any comments down below and thank you for watching and goodbye